This video walks you through the process of customizing your checkout and card pages in WooCommerce for free. We will start by activating a new free theme, then move on to choosing a free plugin that will help us to solve this problem. Finally, we will customize the checkout and the card page to give your customer a better shopping experience. Hey, if you are new here, my name is Itoreja and in this channel, I will teach you how to create your own online store to sell your products. So if you have an interest in learning how to sell your products online, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you won't miss out on my new upcoming online store videos. So without taking much of your time, let's dive into my computer screen. Let me show you how to customize your WooCommerce checkout and card pages for free. Now, before we start this video, let me show you how the page is actually. Now, if you go over to the page, and like I have a product page right here, and I'll add the product to my cards. Then, let me view the card. Now this is how the card page is. Now let's process to the checkout page. You can see how it is. So right now, we are going to make this better. So I'll go back to my WordPress dashboard and I'll go over to the theme section. We can see that by going to appearance, themes, Then I'm going to search for the theme called Astra. This is the theme that we're going to use. Then I'll install it. Let's just wait. It takes a little time for the installation process to complete. Now click on activate. Now we have activated a new theme. Now if you go over to our page, reload the page, you are going to notice there is, we have, we have gotten a massive change already. Now, if I'm going back to a product page, the same product page that I was before, this is the same product page. Now, I'll click on Add to Cart. View the cards. You can all see that we have massive change already. Now, these very changes that we have already gotten is the one that comes with the theme. So, if we want to customize the elements, the fields that we have on this card page, we want to rebuild the entire page, of course, we might remove certain things that we don't want. That's why we are going to move on to the next step of the video. So, to do that, to have a total control of that, we need to install a plugin, a free plugin called shop engine now shop engine is a plugin that helps you to customize your woocommerce store for free you have access to we can disable some things that we don't want on the woocommerce now let's install the plugin it's called i'm going to type in the plugin name shop engine shop engine okay i think i need to close this space yeah so this is it shop engine so you type in there is no space on it i'm going to click on the install now so let's wait for some time for the installation process to complete then once it has successfully installed click on activate That's the only two things that we need to install to customize our checkout and the card page. Now, check over to your navigation menu. You are going to see another section called Shop Engine. 
go over to view templates right here as you can see the template is blank right now I want us to start with the card page so I'll click on this add new I'll give it a name I'll give it cards I'll call it uh, can call it custom cards then click on this type then choose card since we're creating this template for the card page then I'll click on this set default now it has already come with a preview design we can use this template to get started but if you want to create everything from scratch we can use this blank one so but I'm going to use this very one so that it can be much more easy for us to understand how to create the card page so I'll click on this save changes I'll wait for the page to reload again now we have our templates live and it is active right now now if I refresh this card page you can see that we have gotten another change now let's edit this card page right now so I'll go over here and click on edit with Elementor so now the page editor has been successfully loaded so I'll click on the element the section that I want to edit so I'll hover here and click on this this widget that's called car table so right now I have an option to disable some button slide I can disable this this uh, shopping button I can pull it back or hide clear all buttons as you can see then if I go over to this section I can change this title as well so let's say I'll call it uh, um, shall I call it name item or whatever so I can change this uh, we can change this text all over here then click on updates over to another widget that I want to edit just click on the widget that you want to edit so let's say I want to edit this coupon widget you know so I can change the style as well like if, if you check over here if you hover on this if I hover here you can see that's changed to red if I click on this and change the color back to whatever color that I like you know then uh, let's say I change over to to green just hover it and you see the change reflects automatically so you have its self control of changing the color, the fonts, or the other thing that you want to customize right now. You can go over here, right here, and see the same, the same setting. This card total you can control whatever thing that I want to do. You can increase the font size, you know, as well. So it's basically the same process of building a page using Elementor. Now, if we don't have experience on how element to work, drop a comment down below that you need a tutorial video. Let me, I think I need to redo the entire video on how to work with element or when it comes to building an e-commerce site. So for now, I think I'm good with this card page already. Just that if I want to swap this, maybe I can just drag this over here. Just change the position. Of how things are being done you know, then I think I'm okay with it let me just let me take it back you know. let me take it back to the previous place all right so that is the how to customize the cart then I'll hit on the updates button as you can see so if I go back to my card page and reload the page now you can see this name has changed then so that's the process then i need to go back to i'll go back to my wordpress dashboard then 
I'll create another template. I'll call this checkout. I'll call this uh, custom checkout. I'll choose checkout because we're creating this template for the checkout. Then I have a pre design available as well. I'll choose, uh, let me look for the one that is much more better. Okay, look at this. Let me choose this. I'll click on save. Now, I'll do the edit with Elemental. I'll uh, give it some time for the editor to load. Do, do, do. As you can see, we now have uh, a preview clean classic checkout page. Now, I can uh, can change these pictures. Like since this side is about her. Uh, it's about custom prints so I'll go over to my media library then I'll pick uh, let me pick a product design maybe something like this could be better just example you know but as you can see I just place the image right here then I can change this one as well it's just example of how you how you have total control of the, all the elements on the pages, you know. So I can just uh, place whatever thing that I like. Okay, let me just place this. It doesn't really look good because you know these images right now it's supposed to be a transparent image, you know. But that just it all. Let me just take this one out. Then I can change this text to whatever thing that I want, you know. I will leave it just that for now. Then I can customize all these things to give it to to give it a text that I want it to bear. Then this is the main WooCommerce element. If I click on this, you can see this is the checkout billing form. Now the check this checkout billing form. If I go over to form um, visibility, I have it to control to hide whatever whatever thing that I don't want it to appear. Go over here and turn off everything. As you can see everything has been disabled so you now have access to show whatever thing that you want to show so now in this billing form i need uh, uh i need the name the first name the last name i don't want the company name so i'll turn that off i need the country addressed uh town i need the zip code then a phone number and email as you can see i just i've picked whatever thing that uh, i need if I click over here to this order notes, just in case if I don't need the order notes, I think I don't need this. I'll just click on this and edit it out, remove it. Now, I have another section that's called uh, order review, in which it shows us how an overview of what is on the cart. So, the same way that we have ability to edit or elements in element or change the color this like this is blue you can change it to whatever color that i like you could pick a team color and change it to this very color so that it can match the design i need to change this back to the team color as well so that it can match the design right now then this uh, apply button think I will give it to give it this button as well <laughs> then yeah this very section we have a uh, checkout payments so I need to change this color okay need to let me upload it let me update it so that change can reflect so I just updated the page and the change has been reflexed so yeah as you can see then let's see if i want to add any if i want to add some other things here if you go over to the widget section and say just search for cards you see 
go over to scroll down to this section that we have a checkout yeah so this is this had the available widgets that we can make use of the checkout so just drag anyone that you want to add and and boom that's it and edit it yeah so that that does this that's all about i think i need to let me just change this back to the normal theme color i know let me duplicate this same design or paste this style yeah so so this plugin is very is very powerful like i was surprised when i the first time that i, I tested it like it's so so it's, it's very powerful you know so that's basically how you have the total control of your woocommerce checkout page and the card page as well so i will go over here and hit the upload so that we can check the live site and see the changes that we have made how it has reflects so i'll hit on the reload button and let's see how the changes now i'll proceed to the checkout page as you can see everything that we just changed has been reflected so you can use your you can go ahead and rebuild the entire checkout page and it will override the existing ones you know as you can see this is the button that we just change you can change the elements disable what you don't want yeah if you need more details on this on how we, how you can create this thing manually or you can build the entire work community store then you comment below i will do a video um how i create this entire woocommerce shop you know just a demo you know so that's all for today so if you have more interest on in learning how to sell your products online so make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so that you won't miss on my upcoming online store videos thank you for your time and i'll see you in the next video